Tonight's prayer comes from John Philip Newell. Out of the silence at the beginning of time, you spoke the word of life. Out of the world's primeval darkness, you flooded the universe with light. In the quiet of this place, in the dark of this night, I wait and I watch. In the stillness of my soul and from its fathomless depths, the sense of my heart awakes to you. for fresh soundings of life, for new showings of light, I search in the silence of my spirit, O God. Amen. Tonight's prayer comes from John Philip Newell. In the beginning, O God, when the firm earth emerged from the waters of life, you saw that it was good. The fertile ground was moist, The seed was strong, and earth's profusion of color and scent was born. Awaken my senses this day to the goodness that still stems from Eden. Awaken my senses to the goodness that can still spring forth in me and in all that has life. Amen. Tonight's prayer comes from Richard Fairchild. We thank you, loving God, for the vulnerable yet wonderful gift of life. To be alive and to know it is an unspeakable honor. We thank you that from start to finish, our life is precious in your sight. May we always praise you for it. We thank you, loving God, that our movement towards death and decay is not the final sentence in our life story.
We thank you that by your faithfulness, we are born to a new and living hope in a future where love will never be terminated and life will never end. May we always trust in you. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Tonight's prayer comes from Janet Morley. Christ our desire, only embodiment of God, bone of our bone and flesh of our flesh. The foolishness of God is greater than human wisdom. The poverty of God is stronger than human pride. The emptiness of God is full of our redemption, bearing away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, Holy One, bearing away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us, Beloved One, bearing away the sin of the world. receive our prayer. Amen. Tonight's prayer comes from Jan Richardson and is adapted from the story of Lazarus. The secret of this blessing is that it is written on the back of what binds you. To read this blessing, you must take hold of the end of what confines you. You must begin to tug at the edge of what wraps you around. It may take long and long for its length to fall away for the words of this blessing to unwind in folds about your feet. By then, you will no longer need them. By then, this blessing will have pressed itself into your waking flesh, will have passed into your bones, will have traveled every vein, until it comes to rest inside the chambers of your heart that beats to the rhythm of benediction and the cadence of release.